Welcome to the Automated Daily Tech News Edition. The podcast created by Generative AI. Today is the 18th of October, 2023, and we have a lot to cover. Let's dive right in. First up, NASA is making strides in the realm of assistive technologies. They've made it easier for companies to find and access patented inventions that could be used to design or manufacture these technologies. The list, available on NASA's website, includes a variety of hardware and software available for licensing. From a robotic exoskeleton for rehabilitation to improved circuitry fabrication processes, NASA's Technology Transfer Program is making space exploration technologies available for the benefit of humanity. Moving on to AI news, OpenAI's GPT-4 model is making headlines. Backed by Microsoft, research indicates that GPT-4 is more trustworthy than its predecessor, GPT-3.5. However, it's also easier to trick. While it's better at protecting private information and avoiding biased results, it can be manipulated to ignore security measures and leak personal information. The research community is encouraged to build more trustworthy AI models. In the world of generative AI, NVIDIA is expanding its dominance. They're adding support for their Tensor RTL LMSDK to Windows, speeding up the inference process and allowing large language models to run faster on NVIDIA's H100 GPS. This move allows NVIDIA to provide not only the GPUs for training and running these models but also the software to make them run more efficiently. Google is making browsing safer and more accessible. Chrome on iOS and Android will now detect URL typos and suggest corrections, a feature previously available only on computers. This is aimed at helping people with dyslexia or those who are language learners. Google is also introducing several other accessibility-focused features in Google Maps and other products. Windows 11 is slowly but surely gaining ground. Leaked Microsoft data suggests that it's currently being used by over 400 million monthly active devices, with expectations to reach 500 million by early 2024. However, the adoption rate has been slower compared to Windows 10, likely due to the strict hardware requirements of Windows 11. Security Alert A new Android banking trojan called SpyNote has been discovered. Disguising itself as a routine phone operating system update, it steals text messages and sensitive banking information. It can even record audio, including phone calls. Users are advised to remain vigilant and implement robust security measures. Qualcomm and Google are joining forces to develop wearable devices using chips based on RISCV technology. This open-source technology competes with proprietary technology from ARM Holdings. The partnership aims to enable more products within the Android ecosystem to utilize custom processors that are low-power and high-performance. YouTube is giving creators more control over product ads in their videos. New tools will allow creators to add timestamps to products they tag in their videos, controlling when a shopping button appears. This could benefit both creators and sponsors. Finally, scientists at Georgia Tech have developed a polymer membrane that could revolutionize the way crude oil is processed in refineries. The membrane, called ducky polymers, enables efficient separation without the need for extensive boiling and cooling. This technology, combined with AI, could reduce energy, carbon, and water footprints, and extract valuable materials from challenging components of crude oil. And that's a wrap for today's edition of the Automated Daily. We hope you found these updates informative and engaging. Remember, technology is ever-evolving, and staying informed is the key to staying ahead. Tune in tomorrow for more tech news. Until then, keep innovating. We have an update to share. You can now subscribe to specific editions of The Automated Daily. For example, the Hacker News edition. Find the links in the podcast description or on our website, theautomateddaily.com.